you're creating a brand new motion organization, there's a few different steps you're going to want to take to make sure you're all set up. First thing you're going to want to do is head down to the bottom left menu and head to account settings. Underneath account settings, you're going to want to head to my connection section. This is where you're going to be linking in a profile, specifically for Meta and TikTok are the most important if you're working with those different ad accounts. This profile, for example, for Meta is going to be the one we are pulling in your different ad accounts from as you're connecting them to Motion. So make sure the profile you connect here has permissions to your ad accounts that we want to link to Motion. Once you've gone ahead and set that up, like I mentioned, we can start to add in those ad accounts. So you can click create workspace from this top left menu. Something to keep in mind about this as well too, depending on if you're a brand or an agency, there's two different routes you might wanna take here. A workspace, before I show you that, is essentially this page here. It's your entire motion page and you can toggle between workspaces. So if I went from here to here, it's gonna pull a whole different page with that different workspace. So something to keep in mind is that if you are a brand using Motion, you may want to create brand new workspaces for each of your ad account types. So workspace one for all of your meta reports, workspace two for TikTok, workspace three for YouTube, versus if you're an agency using Motion, you're most likely going to want to create one workspace, which is going to hold all of your clients' um, reports, whether it's TikTok, meta, and or YouTube all bundled into one. So just something to keep in mind as you're deciding your setup and flow you want to take. To do that, head to that top left menu, like I mentioned, select create workspace, and this is where you're gonna put a name in. So brands, if you're deciding to break them out, you would say meta workspace, next one would be TikTok, next would be YouTube. Um, agency side, this is where you'd put probably your client's name here. Next step you're gonna wanna take is start to connect to the data sources. So click um, connect, it's gonna show a whole list of the ad accounts of that profile we originally connected under the My Connection section has access to. So feel free to connect the ad account that's uh, applicable to you in this scenario and break them up as needed. Once you've created those different workspaces and loaded in your different ad accounts that you wanna pull into Motion, um, the next step would be looking at adding brand new members to Motion too. To do that, you can again head down to bottom left menu, account settings and members. You can either do it here or you can click on the organization members tab. This is gonna be members part of the whole entire organization, whereas this tab here is gonna show you members that have access to this specific workspace, for example. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is click add members and you have three different stages of members you can add to Motion to your team in order to access these reports. One, since you created the account, you're probably gonna be the listed owner. We have three different other roles you can add, admins, collaborators, and guests. Admins are able to essentially do everything the listed owner can do, except they don't have access to billing information. So admins can create brand new workspaces, they can load in new ad accounts, um, they can add brand new teammates to Motion as well, and they can create edit reports, essentially everything you would want to do in Motion. Collaborators, on the other hand, can create reports, edit reports, they'll be able to see a full list of all the different workspaces you have access to. The only thing they can't do is add brand new ad accounts to Motion or add brand new teammates to Motion. And then third one is guests. Guests can essentially view the specific workspace you give them access to. So think agency side, if you wanted to give your client access to their motion reports to be able to come in and view them, you can add them as a guest, select them to only see their workspace, not all your other clients' workspaces. They'll be able to log in and just take a look at all the reports. They won't be able to edit reports or create brand new reports, but they will be able to come in and take a peek at the ones you have existing in the account. So those are the three different roles of um, members you can add to Motion. One other last thing you might want to keep in mind in terms of permissions is page permissions. So heading back into here, if I were to preview this content, for example, say that that initial ad was a boosted post or whitelisted post. In those scenarios, the original asset most likely lives on a page itself. Because certain assets live on a page, a motion also does require permissions to those pages, those meta pages, for example, in order to pull the full amount of previews and data through. So in those cases, whoever is initially connecting these ad accounts to motion, they're going to want to ensure they have access to those pages. So for example, the client Facebook initial meta page or any influencers that the ads page might be living on, make sure that that person that has access to the most pages is the one in motion who is initially connecting it. If you run into any issues here, though, 
don't hesitate to reach out. We can walk you through those steps in a little bit more detail to make sure you don't run into any issues with those page permissions. Essentially, just make sure you can come in and preview all the different assets you have. If you ever come up with that pop-up, that's when we would need to essentially get those page permissions. So that's your initial setup to Motion. Next step, we're gonna be walking through the platform, going through those two different report styles and all the different features of how to build a report.